Okay, thank you everyone. Uh, I'm Luis Anton. I come from the Laboratory of Cognitive and Cognitive and Computational Neuroscience from Madrid. And I uh, talk about, about neurophysiological markers of future binge drinking. First of all, let's define what is binge drinking. Okay. Commonly is defined as the intake of uh, heavy quantities of alcohol in a short period of time. Okay. It's defined as the intake of harvest four standard units of alcohol for women and five for men in a period of two hours. That's what a uh, binge drinking episode is defined. Okay. It's very, it's quite a standard among, among the teenager population and it's particularly problematic because it's a period of high uh, brain development with several changes which could be, uh, could be potentially hazardous for the, the, brain, uh, the brain development, okay? It's very vulnerable to the toward alcohol toxicity. Actually, we already know that binge drinking intake uh, causes several brain function alterations in university population. However, it remains quite understood if these differences is uh, because the intake of alcohol itself or there are previous uh, brain functional alteration of abnormalities which could make some individuals more prone to consume uh, alcohol in the future. Okay, so to address this question, we have uh, conducted a longitudinal study of two years with two states of evaluation. And the first one is more than 600 uh, alcohol naive uh, adolescents between 13 and 14 years old. Uh, fulfill a battery of questionnaires to measure impulsivity and executive traits, uh, both related with uh, cognitive and behavioral control. And a subsample of 67 participants uh, underwent a neuroimaging study. Uh, they made a MEG recording and a resting state is closed for five minutes and a structural MRI. Two years later, the same sample, we underwent the same protocol, and in these states, we pay special attention in their, in their behavioral, in their pattern of uh, alcohol consume. So we apply the alcohol use disorder identification test, the AUDIT, to measure how many alcohol they, they intake, uh, with hour, with quantity, with kind of alcohol, and we made a personal interview to, miss, to make sure that uh, that information were true. And with, the, uh, with this data, we subdivide our sample in two groups. The future binge drinking, which uh, drink more than four or five alcohol uh, standard units, or light or not drinkers, which uh, drink less than two or nothing of alcohol. So with two groups, we went to our, uh, we went to our initial data to search for differences in terms of functional connectivity or impulsivity traits. So for the measure of brain activity, we used uh, MEG, uh, 300 six channels, to measure the cortical activity and get information on the different uh, cortical oscillations for the individual sources. And the battery of questionnaires, of questionnaires used was uh, this. So for functional connectivity analysis, we use the hypothesis of face looking value, which measures the uh, face synchronization phase synchronization between different uh, regional oscillations forming a functional network, and we calculate it in the sources of space. We got a matrix of uh, 1,188 sources for each individual, and we took two approaches. First, we were interested in which cortical sources were the, also with the higher differences between groups. So we apply another strength analysis and we get a significant cluster of activity in the source that is more different between the groups. If we get some significant results, we made a seed-based analysis using a seed, the, uh, the significant cluster uh, of 10 in the previous step, and we made a cluster bare mutation test to know with, with other cortical sources this cluster were connected. So uh, the results of 10, we found that a uh, future binge drinker, it means the adolescents, alcohol knife adolescent, which two years later started, started uh, drinking alcohol, uh, saw at a higher impulsivity and executive uh, behavior traits, both for the complete sample and for the MEG subsample. Regarding functional connectivity data, 
we also uh, found that a future beams drinker, so we had a higher connectivity in two clusters for alpha and beta bands located in regions from left insula, uh, left in, uh, inferior uh, frontal gyrus, and part of the temporal gyrus. And these clusters were positive correlated with the test uh, BDFS, which measure these executive behaviors, which means that the higher the connectivity, the higher the, the these executive behaviors. So when we apply the seed basis, we also saw that those clusters were uh, intraband hyperconnected for the bin shrinkage group. So as the conclusion, we will say that uh, we identified some abnormalities in the brain functional networks of uh, adolescents which in the future will consume a calm in, the, in an intensive way. Uh, this may be <coughs> because uh, some neurobiological vulnerabilities which could be related with cabergic and dopaminergic interneural dysfunctions, which could be explained the hyperconnectivity that we saw in, the, in, in our results. So thank you very much. <laughs>